Why, why does Kanye owe you 300 bucks? What's the story? I mean, it's a clickbaity title for the book. The, tr- the truth is it's just one chapter in the book, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a real like, um, it's, it's like a photo of what it was like to know Kanye before fame. That's what the chapter is. And he owes me $300 because I was rich at the time because of that Interscope deal. He was living with his mother. He had $0. And um, we were working on a song and he needed to take the train every night to get back home to his mother's. And so um, he didn't have the money if he missed the train. He can only afford the train. And so I was like, well, I can't let you leave. Like, I, we need to finish the song. I want, I, we're like, this is our job. Like we're killing it. Like we have to stay yeah. with us. And he was like, well, I don't know. What can I do? And I was like, you know what? I'll rent you a car. Don't worry about it. It's on me. I have all this dough right now. When you have a lot of dough, you could do it for me, whatever. And, <laughs> and, uh, and then he would just bother me all the time about paying, paying it back. And I didn't even want the money back. But after someone, you know, it was two ways back then. Like he would two way me like, Every day, I'm going to send you back the money. I'm going to send you back the money. And eventually, you're like, all right, dude, send me the money then. Send me the fucking money. Yeah. yeah. And then he got super famous. I remember the John Legend mixtape came out with I Used to Love Her on it. And I wrote him. I was like, dude, I got this at Amoeba. And it's great. This guy's killer. And then he, that was like one of the last times he wrote me. And the money wasn't brought up. Um, and then maybe once or twice we talked again. And the money was brought up. And then he never sent it. Motherfucker. <laughs> but we were like, we were like, mo- we went to the movies together. We had lunch a bunch, you know, he'd come and we'd go out to clubs in LA. So we hung out a lot and the money came up every time uh, and he never paid it. Is that, is that so bizarre? Like I was speaking of like different lives kind of earlier, like knowing Kanye before he was Kanye must be, you know, a, a night and day situation. A totally different person. Not even close to the same person. I was even, I, I, most of those people I came up with were like that. Like they were all, and also like people used to shift to be more like me when they'd hang out with me, which was also weird. Wow. Like, like there's a story in the book where like Kanye walks into baseline where we were recording and he goes, Oh man, I, if I knew you dressed like this, I would have dressed like I normally dress. And I was like, what? And then he showed up to the studio the next day in like vintage jeans and a, and a vintage uh, Jim Morrison shirt. Uh, and I was like, I don't understand what this is. And like, when I did a song with red man, we started talking comic books and stuff. And I was like, are you just, are you just becoming nerdier? Uh, and so I never really knew what it was, uh, but whatever. Anyway. You gave them permission to be themselves? Well, or do you think they were faking it or you think they were real? No, I think that when you, I think that when you're in hip hop in the nineties and early two thousands, I think that you have a certain, I mean, it just wasn't cool to be kind of nerdy. And now right. look, I mean, now it's like everyone uh, can be in superhero movies, right? It's like, yeah, it's, it's not even, yeah. King. Yeah. Uh, did you, uh, were you like surprised by Kanye's rise or did, were you like, this guy's going to fuck, he's got it. I always thought he was going to be the biggest producer of all time. Right. Like I knew that, like I was like, th- cause the first beat CD I ever got from him had H to the Izzo on it. And I was like, this is going to be the biggest little Romeo song ever. And it ended up, <laughs> ended up being a Jay-Z song, which is great. But, but like there was a lot of great songs on that first beat CD. And I was immediately on the phone with him. Like I, I called my manager and I was like, give me on the phone with this guy uh Kanye or Kanye because it just said his name on it and I was like get him on the phone get him on the phone and so I was on the phone with him within like 10 minutes of hearing the beat CD and I was like this I was like whatever he wants to do fly him to LA whatever it is I was I I thought we were like the new premiere like I thought it was like that because also he sounded like just blaze like his production right. sounded like blaze so I was like I can't afford blaze <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't I can't get the label to pay a hundred thousand dollars for a beat or whatever until maybe later because I knew that they would maybe go to him for a single but I was like this is a dude I could just go to and get those beats and not spend that money. Right. And so I always thought he was a big producer. When we were in the studio recording that song, he looked at me and he was like, you know, I rhyme. And that was the first time that I had ever heard he rapped. And then he's like, I'm, and he kind of said, he's saving all the good beats for himself. And I was like, I just, pay, I just paid you $15,000. Like, you're not, you shouldn't say that. Uh, and so he rapped for me all the time. And I just never really got it. A lot of people say that. So I don't, I'm not alone, but he had a different style. He was very breathy. He sounded like Mace. Right. And, um, and I was like, I'm not into it. And he wanted to jump on the remix to Blau, which is a song I did with Red Man and Fabulous and Clue. And uh, I was like, I told my manager, I was like, just work this out for me because I do not want him on the remix. Uh, and so he got him off it. But he Whoops. is the guy. Yeah, Whoops. he's the guy yelling Blau in the hook. But I didn't let him rap, which is just like proof that I should never have been a professional rapper. Well, I don't, I don't know, man. That, like you said, you're not alone. And no, I still feel a different thing. say that like rapping is not exactly his strong suit. Uh, no. did, did you, are you surprised at all by like the 
the mania of of Kanye and like the the religious aspect, the cult yeah. aspect, the, pol- the political aspect, all that. Yeah, every time, every once in a while, I feel bad. I really yeah. do. It makes me sad sometimes. I, I like um, I don't know. Watching someone become a completely different brain is really weird. It's super yeah. strange. I've always I've always been odd about it. My wife who grew up a child actress, every once in a while it comes up about like she was friends with Brad Renfro or she was friends with um uh, Brittany Murphy, you know, her and Brittany were on the same show for a while and it's like I go, well, "Is that weird?" and she and it's like you kind of detach a bit from it. You're like, "Well, that wasn't the person I knew really," you right. know? And yeah. I think that's how I feel about Kanye, which is like I feel bad. Like I'm like when I watch it, I'm like, "God, I wish I wish he was still the guy who Two weighed me asking for blockbuster video recommendations because I always thought that was such like a sweet thing from this guy. He was like a rap producer. He would write me and be like, "I'm at blockbuster. What should I rent?" And I'd be like, "Ghost World." And then like two year, two hours later, he'd write like, "I loved it." Like to me, <laughs> to me, that was like the more fun version of him. Yeah. And I, when I see this, I'm like, "Oh man, this seems really heavy." Do you think that's part of like celebrity? Like you, you referenced earlier how like you worked hard in therapy to you know deal with certain emotions. Do you think that like Kanye becoming this is kind of just no therapy, no anything, just taking in everything that happened publicly. Yeah. I mean, without any knowledge of him, I I would guess that it's just, I mean, I, I, when, when his mom died, I remember thinking to myself, Oh, that's the only guy I know who used to like randomly drop his mom into conversations. Like I, like he was so close to his mom. Like it was like, I remember even being like, kind of like he lived with her, but I was, it felt like it was his roommate. A little weird situation. Yeah, it was just very. It wasn't. I don't know if it was weird as much as it was kind of like just something I had never heard before. Mm-hmm. And and then when his mom died, I remember thinking to myself like, "Oh shit, that guy, like he loves his mom. Like there's there's no one I know who's that." And so I I just if you look at the timeline as to what happened, it's like it looks right. like it all just right kind of shaved right there. And so that that's the stuff I think about a lot, which is, um, I, there's no, uh, this is a good way of putting it. There's no one I came up with who got that famous and rich that didn't go weird. Yeah. So like, it's just like the price you pay, right? Just the price you pay. I mean, will I am and I were very, very close. And now he dresses, you know, like he's a leprechaun every day and <laughs> talks about how he wants to like turn his arm into a robot. It's just like, it's like the, those guys to me, they used to be so grounded and down to earth. And, and now I, could if you ran into them one. right now, would it be love or would you, would you, would they recognize you with? Oh yeah, they would you? recognize me. Um, I saw Will, <laughs> I saw Will, how long ago did I see Will? I saw Will a couple of years ago and it was super weird. It's always weird. It was weird when he wasn't famous. So I, I don't know, you know, I worked with him on a, a, a album a couple of years ago before, when he was like almost out and then trying to get solo record and all this stuff. Um, I don't know. He's a weird dude. I, 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 I think he... I mean, he used to be like the LA hip hop gra- like gatekeeper here. Yeah. So it's just like, it's now he's just, I don't know. I, I like it's I said, crazy. he's like, w- wants to become a hologram or something. It's just like, I, I don't know who he is. So 